Welcome back everyone to another Hightail video. In this one we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of super interesting things you'll find in Zone 3. So the title of this article is Outlanders Revealed and refers to the primary threat you'll face in Zone 3. So what are Outlanders? Well they are said to be a hostile breakaway human faction that houses a boss that you're clearly going to have to defeat. And god damn, this guy is jacked! In my opinion though, I still think the Outlander faction is more interesting than the boss because of how behavioral and complex they all are and the fact that they do behaviors on their own without you even having to be there. There are also different types of Outlanders ranging from warriors and rangers to priests and... What, what, do, you, what do you even call these? Zombies? Slaves? What, like, oh, wait, wait, okay. They are clearly wearing a VR headset so they've got to be in VR. They're obviously gamers. Even though they don't look like they're having much fun, though. <laughs> anyway, there is actually a lot that they do. The uh, Outlanders like hunting and adventuring, just like you would on your own adventures. Um, and they are said to roam far from their own territory to look for ancient battlefields and ritual sites. As such, you may well run into them while conducting excursions of your own. Do you know how cool this is? You may very well run into these guys without looking for them, while doing things like getting food and supplies, or adventuring for loot. What's better is that these are very dangerous enemies, so running into them while you're poorly equipped is probably not going to turn out too well for you. On top of that, the Outlander Priests are said to harness the water magic of Zone 3 to protect their civilization, and have achieved a measure of mastery over death itself, drawing this power from the mystical waters of the wilderness. So there is way more to these people than meets the eye, and seemingly a lot of history and lore to be learned behind them too. Also, those VR guys that I mentioned earlier, yeah, they participate in their rites that probably worship something really dark that ties in with their magic. So uh, yeah, they're probably not playing something too uh, family friendly for you guys. But yeah, I really like the atmosphere and the dark, mysterious vibes that this place and its people are giving off, and it makes me really want to learn more about it and understand what turned them down such a dark path, because if I had to make a guess, it'd probably be that they were once like a very nice civilization with all these happy dandy people, and then all of a sudden something happened, and now they're worshipping dark magic and hate themselves. Now, before I end this video, all the new information I just gave you guys came from a bunch of new updates they recently added on their website, one of which I already made a video on a few days ago, so if you haven't seen that one, I highly encourage that you do. It was really fun for me to edit and I thought that it was uh, very informative and went over some of the other new information on Hytale that's separate from this one, so I'll go ahead and check that one out if you want. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed and please subscribe if you did. And thank you very much. I will see you in the next one.